Hi everyone, welcome to the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. Okay, so in this video today, how do we decorate a tablescape for two? Well, come on with me guys. Now this video is part of a collaboration with the Heaven's Pearls. And let me go ahead and tell you who the members are. So we have uh, Tablescapes by Candy, uh, better known also as DIY Design by CCW. Amazing. Um, we also have Decorating with Jazzy Green. We have Debbie Bubbles. We have Creations by Simone and the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. So let me start uh, by saying I hope you guys had an amazing uh, Christmas day with friends and family and most of all, remembering our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to say welcome. I hope that you like my video and I hope that you stay and subscribe. And for all of you who've known me for a while or even from the very beginning, I so thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting my channel. Okay, so the scripture reference for this month is John 16:33. And um, this is being titled The Prayer for Peace Collaboration. And doesn't that sound absolutely beautiful? Let's get started, guys. Now remember, as in all collaborations, we want to practice YouTube etiquette because this helps us to grow. So let's get started. Now Jesus told the disciples, to be of good cheer, and this is John 16, 33. Just as they were about to face the darkest, most troubling time of their lives. Wow, the Lord would soon be leaving them. This is in John 16, 5 through 7. And he knew that severe persecution, suffering, and the possibility of death awaited each of his followers. So the disciples were grieved and confused as Jesus explained. So quote, in a little while, um, you won't see me anymore, but a little while after that, you will see me again. That's in John 16, 16 in the NLT. Now they would all scatter and most would abandon him at the cross. And that's in John 16, 32. But soon after, their doubt and fear would be transformed into faith and peace. And these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Wow, that's in John 16, 33. It's amazing. Amen. Now, in the original language, the words translated be of good cheer or take heart can also be understood as be bold, be confident, or be courageous. Jesus taught the disciples that inner peace and courage amid tribulations could only be experienced through abiding in him. And that's in 1 John 2, 28. Now we can be of good cheer because we have learned how to trust the Father in every situation. And that's in Romans 8.28. We don't have to live in fear because we are secure in His love. 1 John 4.18. We know that if God is on our side, then no one can stand against us. That's in Romans 8.31. And nothing can separate us from his love. No trouble, no hardship, no persecution, famine, poverty, danger, or conflict. Amen. And that's in Romans 8.35 through 39. Praise God. Okay, so inner peace 
is ours in Jesus. That's what he said. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Don't let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And that's in John 14, 27. While the world offers only trouble, threat, danger, uh, followers of Jesus do not have to be anxious or afraid. We can be of good cheer because we belong to the one who overcame the world. Nothing in this world can harm us because we triumph through our Lord Jesus Christ in the end. Amen. I can't believe how overjoyed I get when I absolutely speak the word of God in truth and believe it. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoy creating it for you. If you like the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Have an amazing day. Uh, God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one. Amen. Thank you.